Hi guys, I'm Philip. So today I'm gonna teach you how to do a curved TV console like this one. Okay, see, this is like this one, the curve. Okay. Okay. Let's do it up. Okay, come back. Simply, oh, when you need something you don't know how to do, right? My suggest is uh, for the furniture is stick to the wall, right? Then you may use ceiling, oh. It will help you to do easily. Just double click on the ceiling. Okay. So the curve, right? We just make it one like this. Okay. Make it one like this. Um, just draw a rectangle for some. Draw a rectangle. Draw a rectangle. Okay. You can use polyline to draft lah. Okay. Let's say I show it. So this TV cabinet, I think lovely like 2400 So I give it uh, 300 uh, this one Each 300 Okay, so I can see lovely the plot here 300, 300 Okay, 300 feet Okay, so I'll give it a rectangle Rectangle from I think start from here To Until here, okay. Close it. Okay. This rectangle, I give the length uh, two four zero zero. Length two four zero zero. Two four zero zero. Okay. The Y is the TV cabinet, uh, so this Y I uh, put it like five hundred. Okay. And this one is uh, on the ground, so I make it on the ground. Simple on the ground. Okay. After that, very simple. We just cut the sheet. Okay, so this one is a curved shape pattern. So let's see, I can make it like chamfer. Okay, so chamfer here, this one should be uh, okay curved. Okay, so the curve, how many you want? So maybe I put two hundred. Uh, see the curve come out ready. Simple as that. Okay, but before that, uh, before that, okay, since the this one, uh, since this one. The drawer is rectangle, so we need to make rectangle first. Lah. Okay, I control that, go back first. Okay, control that, get rectangle. So I offset it. Okay, offset it first. Just offset it like 50. I uh, know 50, I don't think can make it. 100. Okay, 100. Then I make curve simple. So after that, I come back to here. I make the curve, out filler. Maybe this one I put 200. Ah yes, so you can see now you got the uh, this one uh, something like this uh, like the picture, oh see like the picture. Then simple, we just extend it. Okay, like this one uh should be six hundred lah, uh, should be six hundred two feet. Okay, so you can see something like this, oh uh, on the three D here. Okay, see something like this on three D. Okay, then after that, uh, make a drawer right. Simple also. Just draw the rectangle inside. <laughs> For me, I usually do that. Let me see. Uh, okay, this one. One drawer, two drawer, three drawer, four drawer. So, basically, I just exclude out. Then, this one go include. Okay, simple as that. So, I'll just draw like... Uh, imagine this uh, Okay. One drawer come up, one drawer come up, and one is go in. So basically, this one is one big drawer. Okay, uh, we cannot totally follow follow it, but I can estimate it. Okay, so I just draw, I just make this one inside come up like um, offset it first. No need, uh, no need offset it. I need to offset it first. If not, I cannot see the. Okay, I draw one drawer here, one drawer here la. One banner here, okay? So, simple, I'll just draw one drawer here Okay, zoom in Draw one drawer Okay, lovely la. Okay, okay, estimate this one is 220 220 divide half is 1100 Okay, 110, I'll divide 2 again one one zero I divide two again should be let me check one one zero zero divide two five five zero so this one 
I put it 550. 550. Okay. This one I'm moving inside a bit. Okay. Maybe here. Right here. Okay. By the way, this one, uh, guys, <coughs> you can press C or you can press C, control E. Press C, press C. I mean, press T, sorry, press the button T, you can adjust it to make it uh, shorter la, or because we need to see now. Okay, shorter. Okay, press T again, and you can move it up. Okay, 550. Five, 0. Okay, then I press T again. Okay, so I'll move it. Actually, this one is the perfect angle. Oh, okay, never mind. Since it's perfect angle, I like it. Then I'll make it uh, 600. So you see a drawer come out already. Okay, so we make another small drawer at here. Oh. So also 550, if not mistaken. So I'll just control V. Okay, no. okay, never mind. Right click, copy one. Oh, copy one, put here. Simple. This one I'll put like here. Join the join the rectangle. I'll make it join with the rectangle. Okay, sometimes cannot detect. So we just need to zoom. Okay? Join the rectangle. And this one I press T la estimate it la T. Okay, estimate it. So this time I'm gonna pull it down. Okay, uh, usually this one should be like 150 gap. <coughs> okay, so I can put the TV there. Okay, this one also I'm gonna make it 600. Ah, correct, 600. Okay, and I put one more banner here. So I'll make another rectangle here. Uh, simple. Put one more banner here. Another rectangle. Simply draw one first, never mind. Okay, later you can change it. Adjust it. Okay, just adjust it. Okay, then press T. You can press T, move it. Okay, move it. This one move right here until here. Okay, should be fine. Okay, this one is 10 mm, make it 600. So, so you see another banner here. Simple as that. Okay, and this one just copy only. No? So, I'll just right click, copy. And paste here, right click this part. Just move it here. Okay. Okay, great. Another one. Just copy it on. Right click, copy, and paste. Okay, right click here. So this one just paste it now. Center. Let's see, put here. Okay. So this one is too big, then control uh, press T again or change the number you want. Okay. So I'll just roughly like her. Huh? If you really do, you need to calculate it. Okay. So you see, you got something like this. Then on top here is the. Let's see. Ah, uh, on top here is a board. Okay, one, two, three, four, four board only. Simple. Okay, we come back to here. Uh, just do a rectangle also. Click on the wall. Just create one big rectangle. Okay, one big rectangle. Okay, maybe. Uh, to here okay then you want to draw four rectangle right simple just draw another four rectangle <laughs> okay this one I'm gonna make it uh, come up first come up first I draw four rectangle in here so I'll use this one as guideline okay I draw four rectangle so the big one okay small control B and uh, control copy where okay, another one Right click, press T, okay, adjust it because I don't know the size, uh, so I roughly do the shape pattern only, okay. So, this one, another one, rectangle also, okay. This one is a guideline, right? So, this one I give it, come back, press T, press T, come in a bit. This one come in a bit, roughly the shape, okay. If you know the dimension, of course, it's the best, uh, okay. So this one, I make it come in a bit also, uh, come in a bit, 
uh, maybe I minus this one six five five right I minus six four five okay six four five okay then I press T okay make sure you can move then I copy again one more copy and paste here okay so first click it okay make it join with here then this one I add ten. 104 because uh, that one is 10 gaps so I create one more gap okay simple as that oh so you see you got the goof line here oh. I'll just click this one paving continuous paving then I put like 10 mm click simple okay this one also paving continuous paving go on top 10 mm paving okay this one also Paving, continuous paving, go up 10 mm. Okay, simple as that. You do the pattern first, lah. You do the pattern first. Okay, enter. Then exclude it. So this one, the gap should be come up like uh, 50. Oh, this one should be come out like 50 also. Oh, you adjust by cell, lah. 50 also. And this one 50 also and this one 50 also and this one 50 also this one 50 also and this one 50 also okay then you know they're almost same well compared to this one almost same uh, just apply the color you want uh, just drag by yourself okay thanks for watching bye